Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac, we're due for a random run. My fucking kingdom, which is quite paltry, I would trade in a heartbeat for a random run that was not Blue Baby, or Samson, or Eve. Why can't we random Kane, Maggie, and Judas more often? There was a period where we randomed Kane like 20 times uh, in like a couple of months, which was great because a Kane run, you know, as much as I love Isaac, and I do love Isaac, as you know, there is a chance that Kane is actually a better character. Um, it's It comes down basically to the pills. But yeah, I, I think, you know, it, it, it's probably the kind of thing that varies from run to run depending on how many pills you get and what the actual rotation ends up being. By the way, don't be uh, confused here. I definitely recognize that there's two tinted rocks on this floor. Uh, if I get some bombs, those are gonna be uh, priority A number one so that hopefully I can actually buff up our health a little bit as Blue Baby. Maybe we'll even, you know, I would love to get like Mr. Mega or even Bob's Curse or uh, Brother Bobby, Brother Bob, bob -omb, you know what I mean. Here, uh, one penny, really? That's not great. Okay, never mind, we got Mom's Knife instead. All is good, Shrek is love, Shrek is life. Um, let us kill our boss here, and I almost hope that we get the, the crate. Well, I mean, not almost, the crate is actually like a pretty darn good item as Blue Baby. This is a great equalizer, I would say. Well, it looks like we're not going to be able to open up any tinted rocks on this floor, but we got one more spirit heart anyway. Good, this is fine. But anyway, yeah, I'd actually like... I don't know, I'd love... That was dumb of me. I'd love to see some data to sort of back it up, you know? Yeah, girl, back up that data. That doesn't even really make any damn sense. Data got that booty, though, etc., etc. I'm becoming like a professional viner now. No more YouTube. Uh, there's a tinted rock. I wonder... If I could blow this up um, with this TNT barrel over here. I think the answer is probably yes, but I've got to be very careful to not accidentally, you know, explode it in my own face here. It's alright, it's a problem I uh, navigate on a daily basis. That totally worked. Um, yeah, you know, but I would love to see some data to back up whether or not uh, I have a better winning percentage with Kane or Isaac. It's kind of unfair because the sample size for Isaac is definitely going to be much, much higher. But I think if you get, uh, especially if you get something like the safety cap, then you are going to have a really good time on a cane run. Uh, en enough to maybe offset the fact that you don't have the D6. Because, I mean, there is, a, not having the D6 is a negative, no question about it. But in addition, it's not a 100% negative, because you do also have the ability to c carry a spacebar item that gives you some kind of beneficial effect, right? So... Um, there is a benefit there. Obviously, I'm trying to distract from the fact that uh, we got Mom's Knife already, which makes this run much, well, Liberty Cap there, um, makes this run much, much more survivable than your average Blue Baby run. Certainly, I'm gonna catch Flack for saying this. Loving Flack, I'll admit, but Flack nonetheless. This is not a one run yet, though. Um, we, we need definitely something... Oh, come on. It's actually one of the few items in the game that is worse than poop. Especially considering we have Mom's Knife, but in any case, um... Yeah, it's not a one run yet. Uh, we we need some way to replenish our spirit hearts. Bombs would be even it would be the worst way to replenish our spirit hearts because we'd be relying on the uh, you know item generation to actually give us tinted rocks. But it's it's better than what we have right now, which is basically nothing. I think Liberty Cap is a little bit better than Isaac's head. Generally, I try to go for passive effects over active effects. I know Isaac is kind of like a he's a passive familiar, but. Um, I prefer the the idea that we could end up getting strength or you know like the compass on a random room etc etc um, fat odd mushroom skinny odd mushroom etc 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 now we do have mom's knife that's uh, the obvious part I don't know why I'm so bad here I should not have taken nearly that much damage you're really gonna give me cat of f and nine tails right now what do we have in our deal with the devil room nothing good enough all right we got a luck upgrade um, I was hoping that we would maybe find, uh, nine lives in here. Nine lives would, uh, allow us to keep all of our spirit hearts and basically just give us... Oh, well, we would lose the three spirit hearts to buy it, but then we would get nine lives. So, I think that would pay for itself. Um, apart from that, it would have to be the nail. And apart from that, there's not really all that much I could see myself giving up almost all of my spirit hearts for. So, it's okay. I took a lot of damage against Blighted Ovum that I'm not proud of. But we do have, we're in a very enviable situation here on a blue baby run. Halo of Flies is a wonderful item to have when you also have Mom's Knife, you know? It's like when you got, uh, 
you know, you're really craving like a cheeseburger. So you go to a cheeseburger place, your favorite, you know, regional variety or fast food chain or maybe a mom and pop place you're sitting down. And then you're like, what do I want? I mean, I already got what I was craving, but I gotta have something extra. Mom's knife in this case is the cheeseburger. You gotta have something extra. What do you get? You get some fries or some onion rings. That's what we got. Halo of Flies is like the onion rings of uh, this mom's knife run right now. Just makes everything a little bit more uh, crispy. And by crispy, I mean good. Because obviously there's never a time when crispy is bad unless, you know, there's been a fire and, you know, you couldn't get something out of the house in time. Okay, so Squeezy is an awesome item for us to have. The tears upgrade, I could take or leave, but the two extra spirit hearts are extraordinarily valuable. We still do need some way to replenish our spirit hearts. It, it's going to be difficult for me to win this run without getting that. Uh, even, you know, no matter how much damage we have, we had a, re a recent uh, blue baby run where I had an awful lot of damage. I think I picked up, like, Polyphemus quad shot on the first couple of floors, but still ended up losing, partially because I played not so fantastically, uh, admittedly, but partially because we just never got spirit hearts over the course of basically the entire run, which made my life a little bit more difficult than it otherwise, you know, would or should have been, depending on your perspective. Uh, you know what? I think we will open that. Sure. I'm, I'm glad we did it. It gave us more keys, or a key back, which is good. It gave us some extra bombs. But beyond that, it gave us some extra money, and that's important because I think I may actually be able to make good use of the shop on this floor. And if I'm not able to make good use of the shop, uh, there is a judgment. So I'm really hoping to get the compass, uh, or from the shop, specifically Book of Revelations. Uh, I don't know if Judgment can actually drop Book of Revelations. I have no reason to believe that it can't. That's, uh, that's luck up. <clears throat> Which I guess I am going to take. I, again, as I understand it, luck down is actually good as well, but I don't. I have no reason to believe that luck up is bad. Alright, that's not our secret room. Uh, hopefully we find an adequate kind of like secret room area over here. Oh, we don't. So it's going to be a very, you know, crapshootish type thing. Ah, oh, that was really bad. It's going to be a crapshoot to find uh, where our secret room actually is. One more sense. Well, uh, given that the secret room doesn't appear to be in that situation up there, I think I'm going to play the judge. Ah, you know what? We'll use one key just in case there's a cheap item in here. There's a 15 cent book of revelations. I, I'm pretty confident that that's worth looking for. So let's try some other possible secret room locations, like maybe here. Um, oh, fuck. It's also possible that there just isn't a secret room on this floor. Which would be devastating, but possible. I think that's happened before. And... Alright, well, there go all of our bombs. I really want this Book of Revelations, though. If not, we can at least buy, uh... Well, we might not buy anything, because we're going to play this Judgment first. Please don't pay out with an HP upgrade. I can just buy the effective HP upgrade for 5 cents from the shop right now. You know what? The ladder's fine. I don't think we're going to buy anything else. I think we'll save our money on the off chance we can actually make good use of it uh, on the next floor. So a little bit disappointing. I would love to get Book of Revelations, but it just wasn't in the cards for us, unfortunately. So it's down to the next floor. Can't really complain too much about that floor, but, you know, fucking watch me. Now... Don't want to get too close to Super Envy here. Obviously, my ideal payout here is an Attack Fly. If I can get one of those, I'll be pretty happy with, like, my non knifey killy abilities. That was a very, you know, eight-year-old way of phrasing that sentence. But uh, I'll, I'll be able to just passively do a lot of damage. You know, the knife, good for taking out slow-moving targets and fast-moving targets if you actually hit them. There we go. Uh, but now we have, you know, Halo of Flies, which I believe don't do damage, but do at least block incoming shots. And the, uh, Pretty Fly, which will actually do a lot of damage, uh, to incoming units, which is great. So I would say that that has turned out quite nicely. Very much want to take it. Are you serious? Very much want to take advantage of the shop on this floor. Extra bomb. So the secret room is something I'm going to be looking out for. Even if we end up fighting greed, again, it's kind of a blessing because we'll get money that we can use for future shops. Let's check out our item room. Inside there is Spoonbender. Really want me to have uh, homing shots on this run for some reason. Unfortunately, it's effectively worthless as Blue Baby. Well, not as Blue Baby. It's, it's effectively worthless with, with Mom's Knife, I should say. We will take this pill. And it is... Puberty. I took it just to kind of, you know, give us a chance to find out what our pill rotation is like. 
That's not our secret room either, unless I'm placing these bombs, like, absolutely terribly. I'm not sure what's up. The, uh, great thing about Spoonbender, even when you can't use it, like with Mom's knife, is that it gives us a purple knife here, so I'm feeling like fucking Mace Windu or something. Um, and I can get behind that. that. That's okay by me. Now, we have not really discovered anything of great value on this floor yet. I briefly saw that there was a curse room. Uh, it's a hard sell because spirit hearts are super valuable and curse rooms, I mean sometimes they give you spirit hearts or something even better, but sometimes they just give you spiders or nothing at all or pills that are relatively useless, etc, etc. Um, looks like our secret room could conceivably be uh, adjacent to the shop here, which would save us a key, theoretically. Um, I don't, you know what, let's handle this guy the other way. Yeah, that's way easier. I'm gonna get you to pop up, and all that matters... Oh, I hate this. All that matters is that we can one-shot you. We did it. Okay, that was very scary. But that's okay. Just gonna do a little bit more exploration, you know, why not? Might be able to snag a deal with the angel or devil uh, if we fight this boss and don't take damage. Seems like kind of a long shot, but we'll check it out. This is not the boss. I don't know why I thought this was the boss. It's just adjacent to the boss room. Empress, great card. Uh, I think we'll use our strength card on the boss. Just seeing if we can get some more money here, because we do want to make the shop worthwhile. Even nine cents instead of eight is good, because a very common secret room permutation is uh, six cents. So, the, the Haley Joel Osmond room. Now, we'll just keep this up here. That was a little Joe Dangerous there. That was easy. Make up your mind. Get a speed upgrade, which truth be told is not so bad. There's nine cents, which is good. Please, uh, nail. Nail. No, that's Guppy's Paw and Ouija Board. Both of which are actually effectively worthless again. Guppy's Paw, I guess technically not worthless because we could have a better chance of becoming Guppy. But the other, uh, item in there, the Ouija Board, actually does nothing for us. So, fairly god-awful devil rooms for us thus far. Um... I didn't open that golden chest, even though it's kind of tempting. Because there's a chance that we wouldn't have enough bombs necessary. Uh, plus, we'll use a key for this. Um, now that we can fly, we can actually get that golden chest open more easily if we get more keys. But I'd rather save one for possible use on the shop. But yeah, I wanted to make sure that we could find the secret room. Otherwise, we're going to completely run out of money. Uh, or not have enough money to really get anything from the shop, guaranteed. And there is no guarantee in the shop here to avoid being, you know, overly optimistic. There's a very good chance that we will run into a mini-boss, but if we don't, then uh, we should be able to bomb our way... Uh, no, we should be able to key our way into the shop, unless the secret room is right here. Which it is, for once. And we get the Ankh, which is, truth be told, actually fairly solid. Now I actually hope we fight Greed, so we'll use our last bomb here. And there's no Greed. And perhaps more troublingly, there's no keys, which is really what I was on the lookout for. So we're going to save our money again, and maybe we'll be able to buy one item from the shop before the end of the game, but I'm starting to be a little bit skeptical of that. Uh, the Hanged Man card. I am going to use it to open up this golden chest. A couple reasons for it. One, we can save ourselves a bomb, which we don't have any of. We got a range upgrade, which is probably meaningless. But also, because we can fly, now we won't get hurt on the way in here. So it makes this curse room a little bit more palatable. We actually got Guppy's Paw, which again, does nothing for us. But at least takes us one-third of the way to becoming Guppy. Was it worth it? Uh, you know, you could, you could argue that in both ways. Half a Spirit Heart for a slightly better chance of becoming Guppy pretty late in the game. That's unlikely to pan out for us. You know, I don't really like that trade, but... Having been forced into it in some ways, uh, I think makes me a little bit more positive about it than I otherwise might be. So, we're fine. I mean, the run's been good so far. I just worry about our long-term prospects. And it's just because of HP. If we can, um, you know, get Relic, Miter, uh, that's on indestructible. Thank God we have the, uh, the ladder, I guess. Um, but yeah, if we can get uh, Relic, Miter, anything along those lines, that helps us out a great deal. Otherwise, um, we pretty much just got to rely on our wits, which doesn't always work out well for me. There have been situations where relying on my wits has been the death of me. We know that there is <clears throat> the secret room directly to the left of us right here, and there's also uh, a mini-boss in it, which is good. 
And we're actually going to go to that secret room and fight Greed. Because I want the extra money. As a result of this, turns out we could have just walked in through the curse room. But I prefer doing this, actually. Save ourselves a little bit of health. Alright, so now we have enough money to make the shop worthwhile for sure. We got luck down. You know, if that's what our pill rotation is going to be full of, that's okay. At least we haven't had any, you know, HP downgrades or anything like that. So it's our first tinted rock in a little while. Let's see if we can catch both these uh, ding dongs out here. Drop a key, please. No, that's a penny. I'm sure we'll be able to get in there on this floor. It's possible that we won't, but I'm, you know, trying to be as optimistic as I can be. Don't, you know, independently separate your head from your body. That is not in the cards, okay? And. Good. Very good. The Emperor. Great card. Uh, better than the Empress. It's an arguable situation, but I would say if you don't have the Compass, then the Emperor card, Compass and Map even, then the Emperor card is maybe something that's going to outclass the Empress card, especially when our damage is already excellent. So obviously we've got a, a long way to go here. Hopefully we manage to pick up a key before the end of it. Also, hopefully we manage to get, at this point, what's likely going to be a deal with the Angel, if any, special room after the boss. Um, and I say that because we have already rebuked several deals with the Devil. N not because, out of any principle or anything like that, misguided nobility. Just because they've been absolutely fucking god-awful so far. Like, really, really terrible uh, concentration of items there. As Blue Baby, the items, you know, the priorities shift a little bit. Mark and Pact, especially if you have, the, like, any extra HP, are worth taking. Uh, you know, you, you lose one or two Spirit Hearts for a huge damage or tears increase. Uh, along with some other relevant stats. Or attributes, I guess, technically. Uh, really? O okay, I'll wait. Don't worry about it. Uh, we can get to that tarot card. It is the world. I might as well use it as it was my thinking, because, uh... Well, I don't really have a great answer for that. We already knew where everything was, or we're going to know where everything was, but we're, we're just going to take the Emperor card with us to the next floor anyway, so uh, let's see what this one does. Range downgrade. Not really that big of a deal. Please give me the crate. Cardboard box. Whatever you want to call it after this. That would go a long way towards helping me out. Better than an HP upgrade is Blue Baby. Oh shit, it actually did it. I should have picked up Burnt Penny first. Uh, and I think I will roll with Burnt Penny instead of anything else. Do I actually need to use a bomb? What do we have? Hierophant. Oh, that's so good. We got three HP upgrades there. Um, and the pill is a luck up, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so we'll take it. Um, but let's pop this down. All right, now we actually do have to use a bomb to get out of here, which is bullshit. But whatever, I'll do it. <clears throat> and... We can go to our shop. Our shop will not contain a mini boss. That's extremely important. We can also gamble on that slot machine to get some more chances uh, to get keys. We do want to go to our item room. Ideally, I'd buy item and uh, key in here. There's no key. There's a map. I'll buy that. Uh, I'm not going to buy the spirit heart. You know what? Maybe I will buy the spirit heart. Oh. That's great. Uh, I will buy the spirit heart now because money's a little bit less important. Let's go down to our last remaining room here, just in case it has anything of crazy value. And we are going to go to our item room, and we're going to go to our curse room as well. Be cool here. I don't know why, uh, it, it short-circuited my brain for a second, this room. I remember there was a time when leapers were like the most heinous enemy for me to go up against. It's not the case anymore, but I do still take occasional damage. I'm not proud of it. Alright, we got two bombs for that. More Tinted Rocks in the future, potentially, but for now, let's, uh, item room and then curse room and then get the hell out of here. Remember, I mean, we have to go to the curse room. We have a, basically an obligation at this point, uh, to give ourselves the best chance possible to become Guppy. And I'd rather not spend money, so we'll just sneak around here. And... Luckfoot. All pills are good. Alright, well... I'm happy to have it, don't get me wrong. You know, I was talking up the advantages of being Kane here, but... Uh, we've already seen some good pills in our rotation. They haven't been that good, though, so... I don't know. At least our bad pills will now become good. And we get spiders there. Fully expected to lose the Spirit Heart by going into that room. At least we got the map, though. That's uh, that's an upgrade. The crate was a good pickup. Burnt Penny is going to allow me to get some more bombs, theoretically, at least. Curse of Darkness, of course. Right after we get the map, we get Curse of Darkness. 
That's just the way it is. Things will always be the same. Don't lecture me, Tupac. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. This is a god-awful room. This is like the first time in years, and I have been playing this game for years, strangely enough, surreally enough, I should say, that I've actually wanted Fly Love. I handled that room absolutely horribly. But, that's not rare. So I, this is why I'm saying that I need some way to replenish my spirit hearts. Especially with, you know, Mom's Knife Bomb Flies. It's a very dangerous situation. Very volatile. Now we have no keys. I can't believe that he's not dead yet. There we go, that'll do it. Okay, one key. We'll use that for our item room because we're here. Lifesteal is actually effectively worthless as Blue Baby, so I'm just going to leave it in the hopes that it can't show up again. And out of principle, that's why I'm leaving it behind. I don't want it to feel good. I don't want it to share in our glory if we end up getting glory. Alright, very dangerous situation. More bombs is always good. And we know that our shop on this floor cannot contain greed because we actually have, um... Yeah, we're gonna Joker card. Oh, yes! Okay. It's no Relic or Miter, but it's good. Um... Yeah, we know that it can't contain greed because we just fought Pride, so that's great. I'm just making my way back down here uh, to get that Emperor card, which is super useful in the future. Guardian Angel is a great Angel item to have. And remember, I used uh, Joker on this floor because otherwise there's no chance, or a very small chance that we would get um, the uh, a, a deal with the Devil or Angel. Okay, so we just slowly simplify these rooms. We can just take out one of these hearts, then it becomes much easier. There we go, no problem. Alright. Eight bombs. No keys, though. And if we have a key, we want to save it for use on the shop, which is probably this room right here. Now, one advantage of being Blue Baby, free access to boss trap rooms, where we'll pick up a range upgrade, which honestly is not my main impetus for going to this room. My main impetus for going to this room is uh, the hopes that we can get some consumables. If it dropped like a penny and a key, that would be great. We could maybe get one of each consumable as a result of Burnt Penny. Plus, I mean, you know, we're fighting some relatively easy bosses considering the items that I have at my disposal, so it's just good practice for how things might go a little bit later once we start fighting rooms that are more difficult, but not more difficult than I'm ready for. There's a key. Okay. So even though we don't have very much money, we're gonna go to the shop and see what they have. They have the compass. That means that I will be mapping this entire floor in my mind to try to get enough money to actually um, buy that, because map plus compass is a very good substitute for not having much HP. This saves us a lot of rooms that will cause us a lot of trouble. It may literally be impossible for us to actually go to all of the, uh, or for us to actually get 15 cents on this floor. It's, it's totally realistic that it would not be possible. But if it is possible, I'm going to do my damnedest to figure out how we're gonna do it. More keys at this point is is lovely, but I would actually very much desire some, uh, just some regular old pennies at this point. Oh, well. Probably getting pretty close to the boss room, unfortunately. We can open this golden chest. Uh, that, that could contain some money. Two of diamonds is actually a huge boost for us. Alright, we did get a bomb back there. So now we only need three more cents. That could come from a secret room. If there's a blood bank, I would happily sacrifice some spirit hearts to make it happen because the compass is going to save us so many spirit hearts long and short term. That was a terrible dodge on my part, but uh, it worked out. Two more cents. Oh, wow. Okay. That's super nice, actually. So we'll get up to 16 cents, and that will allow us to buy the compass. That turned out fantastically. Barely, but fantastically. So fuck the secret room. Not interested. We will uh, instead save our bombs for use later, and uh, to a certain extent, I think uh, everything's coming to Millhouse here. I'm still going to open this. Whoop. It was well worth it. I could have doubled our money later and gotten more, but, uh, you know, we got two keys, two bombs, and uh, two cents. That's a pretty good deal there, I'd say. So, we buy this. That's perfect. Map plus compass, again. You know, it's a little bit like uh, your, your homemade MacGyvered version of... Relic or Miter, because it allows you to save so many spirit hearts, you know? If you're going through money troubles, uh, sometimes you don't need to make more money, you just need to spend less if you're uh, able to adjust your lifestyle like that, and that's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna make more spirit hearts, well, we're gonna try, but if we can't make more spirit hearts, that's okay, because we'll spend less. 
Theoretically. That's the way, in, in my ideal world, that's the way it's supposed to work out, at least. I can't believe we haven't been able to replace Poop yet, either. But you know what? Poop giving us money over the course of this run is probably what allowed us to actually get to that compass. If, even if it paid out with, like, one cent over the course of the run, um, that, that could have made the difference. Alright, just... Yeah, we... That actually went really well. Um, I expected to take a little bit of damage there. We get rid of uh, Burnt Penny, which has been pretty good for us. We go down to the next floor with the Polaroid. We got some extra Spirit Hearts. Okay, these are important moments. We'll probably go to our secret room here. It's the Womb Part 1. Really uh, banking on a deal with the Angel. And there's not too much I would be disappointed with, but obviously Relic and Miter are the, the go-tos. Now, just hang out. There we go, good shot there. Got a little bit of money, and also nothing else for being in here. Oh, I, well, it probably won't matter, but still, that was stupid of me to leave without picking up what I earned. Just, uh, you know, one penny. Not even with a uh, burnt penny associated with it, so no big deal, really, but still, I would like to. Okay, easy kills. I mean, obviously the narrative here should be Mom's Knife. Like, that's the defining kind of characteristic of this run, but I think we played quite solidly in addition to having Mom's Knife. And that's the thing sometimes people are like, oh, you only won because of Mom's Knife. No, not really. I've lost a lot of runs with Mom's Knife as well. Probably, you know, I've lost less than I've won with Mom's Knife. That's fair. Um, but uh, I've certainly lost runs with Mom's Knife. You gotta at least not be an idiot if all you get is mom's knife and not that many other enormous advantages. We've gotten very lucky with a lot of uh, spirit heart drops. And now we have a lot of keys as well, which is great for golden chest opportunities. Alright, Skull X. Uh, pretty much the easiest boss we could be fighting right now. We get a tears upgrade, a random spirit heart, which is lovely, and we do indeed get a deal with the angel. Deal with the angel has the miter. Very, very nice. Let's continue onwards. That is pretty much the perfect payout for us. There's a boss trap room right here as well. Uh, and it's a spirit heart. Uh, we may lose more than a spirit heart for this, but, you know, there are consumables that we can get at the end as well, so... I, I think I, I stand a pretty reasonable chance of getting out of this without losing a spirit heart, but we'll see. Especially now that we've got Monstro 2. Uh, Monstro 2, very, very easy to deal with. Especially Mom's Knife and no knockback. Yeah, that was very, very simple. Okay, things are looking real good right now. Uh, this room sucks. It, it always has. It almost always will. Even when you can fly, you don't want to have to deal with this. But the good news is we at least break even on health. And uh, use a bomb there. More money. Very unlikely to be super useful, but that's okay. Save our bombs a little. Actually, we ended up using a bomb here, but at least we got a treasure chest out of it. And it gave us a bomb back, so we just made two cents there. Again, bomb saving, an important new principle in the pantheon of Northern Lion tips and tricks, which is quite small. That is damage I should not be taking. That's poor play. But, we're almost on Mom's Heart. A fight that should be exceptionally easy with the amount of damage we're dealing. Don't really want to use any bombs on it because, again, bomb saving, pretty important. We'll see, though. Couple rooms left here. I hate this room because it is extremely likely that I end up taking damage. Now that was dumb damage on my part, but we did get the miter uh, to pay out with the spirit heart, which is great. We could get shoop to whoop here. To be honest with you, I don't know, man. I, mean, I guess shoop to whoop is better than the poop, but uh, not that spectacular, obviously. I might rather just have, you know, consumables. I can't believe we've managed to dodge somewhat effectively here. Inevitably, I will take damage on this fight. It's just the way it is. Starting to get to the point where that damage is going to look real silly, though, considering how many enemies are left on the screen. Oh, that was almost it right there. Somebody up there likes me. Okay. Wow. Wow. We're not going to get hit here. We did it, Reddit. More keys, and... Okay. Mom fight. Mom's hard, I guess. Mom's hard fight. Uh, things should start moving very quickly now. So, this is how we're going to do this. We're going to get close enough to do, uh, you know, good crowd control, but we're going to be a little bit cautious after that fact. 
Because we don't want to get hit at all. I would rather this fight take, you know, 15 full fucking minutes than get hit. And again, saving bombs. Might be a little bit overly, um, you know, cautious because we're probably not going to end up using bombs to uh, kill Isaac or Blue Baby, considering we have Mom's Knife. But it could happen. Anyway, this fight has gone extremely well, with or without the use of bombs. We got a Spirit Heart back for our troubles, and now things move very quickly because we go up, and unless we are adjacent to the secret room, which we are, we were going to use the Emperor card to get to the boss fight. We still are, though. We're just going to check in here first. And... There's almost nothing you could give me, so you know what? We're just going to teleport away. All right. Don't use bombs against Isaac. If I can save them for Blue Baby, that's even better. Do have a Halo of Flies and Guardian Angel that should protect me quite nicely from any barrages that he shoots. But beyond that, our best protection is um, permanent Polaroid invincibility, as you can see. Combined with the fact that uh, we don't fire very many tiers. We have one Mom's Knife that hits like, you know, three or four times every time it goes in for a fuck ton of damage. Making our life very, very easy. Although, when I take damage, it's actually pretty nice because I can just walk in here and, you know, do like 20% of his health in one hit. Now, as good as this looks right now, I'm not necessarily suggesting, or trying to suggest at all, that this is a one run. Uh, which again, this is kind of a point that I'm, I'm mocked for a little bit, but it's important to be cautious, you know? And there are ways in which this can go uh, belly up, to put it in the more polite colloquialism. Uh, now, that's good. That's not good. That's pretty good though. And that's even better. Okay, so we actually only lost one Spirit Heart on that fight. But now we have to go through the entirety of the chest. Well, not the entirety. Oh, it's all good. We win. Yeah. So, I don't know how uh, Quad Shot works here, so I'm not going to roll with it. I will take Odd Mushroom, Wiggle Worm, and uh, Quad Shot. You can stay. Now we have Mom's Knife, Polyphemus. So, all is forgiven. Anything that has gone badly is now um, erased from memory. As long as I don't take a seriously ridiculous amount of damage on the way to Blue Baby, even with two Spirit Hearts, like one period of Polaroid Invincibility, we should be able to win this one. And we did get carried. Especially, like, before it wasn't a one run, now it's a one run. I would have to pretty much die at my monitor right now uh, to have this not work out for us. So that's a luck upgrade. Don't really care about that at this point, and uh, this will be a win. This will be a pretty easy win as well. So that's what I get for complaining about uh, Blue Baby runs. We get a Mom's Knife, Polyphemus, and Quad Shot might have even allowed us to do more damage, but it might have made us do less as well. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.